Boys for Sell items here with the games I bought. Update for July 2021. This month has been not quite the way I planned. I said last time I was going to do uh, more game finishing than game buying. The opposite happened to be honest. That didn't work very well. And um, I have done a couple of videos and things. I've done odds. I have no platinums this month, sadly. Been working on it, but not going quite to plan. And uh, I have updated my Let's Plays. I got a couple of Let's Plays I finished, which I'll show you in a bit. So for now, we're going to move to the games I finished this month. There's only three of them. Not quite the way I planned, but well, that's just how it is. We'll start with the game I finished just regularly, and honestly, I'm quite happy with this game. It was kind of tough towards the end, but I enjoyed it for the most part. Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Basically an action game. Um, you swap between Anakin and Obi-Wan. It's a decent game, but... After a long time, it got really difficult. But I finished it. I'm very happy I did. So that was good. I did enjoy it nonetheless. Two Let's Plays finished this month. And both of them from the same series. First off, The Incredibles. Yep, I have done The Incredibles Let's Play. You can see it on my YouTube channel. It's a decent game. Some very annoying bits, trust me, I go over that in the Let's Play, there were some very annoying parts. The boss battles, this is specifically the giant sphere got me annoyed. But I'm very happy I did the Let's Play. And alongside that, I did The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer. Which is not as good as the first, it's a totally different style of playing. And I think... Like I said in the Let's Play, this one's more based on a two-player brawling game. I don't think it's that fun if you play by yourself, but I did. I did the Let's Play. I defeated the Underminer, and I'm more than happy I did it. So, that's satisfying in my opinion. Now, we got a couple of games here to talk about, and I'll talk about the PS4 games last. First off, I got a PS3 game. From a, cha from a charity shop for 80 pence. Red Faction Gorilla. Yep, I have wanted to look at this. I have it actually on the Xbox 360. But I wanted the PS3 version because I'm just more comfortable on the PlayStation. And this is a great fun destruction sandbox game. The destruction mechanics are amazing. And I really enjoy this game. I don't know if I'm going to do a Let's Play on it. I haven't quite decided that yet, so I'll think about it, to be honest. From a shop that I got this game for 50 pence. Disney Bolt on the PS2. I haven't really started much of this game, but I'll give it a go some more and see what it's like. And if I end up getting through it and find it's quite good, I might do a Let's Play of it. I'll think about it. I haven't got much opinions. I've barely started it. Now then. Let's go over this pile here. Start with. I'm going to try and get these in some sort of order. Where's the other one I got here? Oh, it's not this one. Okay. Just, let me just. Sorry about this. But I just want to get these in some sort of order. Um, yep. Those. Yeah, this is uh, going to be interesting, to say the least. Right, that should do. So, let's begin. To start with, first game, PS4, 80 pence. Yep, there's going to be a couple of these. Mad Max. Got to admit, this is quite a good game, although it's very heavy on just going around collecting stuff, but... It's actually quite enjoyable in my opinion. I like the open world. I like the, um, I do like the combat, even though it's Batman Arkham style, I still like it. And I got to admit, it's pretty decent. 
I'll give it some more of a go and see how I go with getting the platinum. We'll work on that. Another game for 80 pence. Far Cry 4. This is quite an interesting game. I have started it and done a little bit of it. And I got to admit, I had a great amount of fun with it. I'm not very good at shooting games, but I do like this one. So I'll give it some more of a go. If I get, if I can do it. So, yeah, obviously I'm not doing Let's Plays of them because they're too violent. Well, they're 18 plus. I don't, want, I don't really want to record 18 plus games. Another 80 pence game. Uncharted 4. Now, I haven't even started this yet because I have the Uncharted Drake's collection. I want to get through those games before I start this one. So, this is on the back burner until those are finished. This next one, next few I think, let me just check these, make sure I've got these in the right place, yes. This next one I got for 15 quid, I got Harvest Moon Light of Hope. Not a bad Harvest Moon game in my opinion, I am very fond of Harvest Moon to be honest. I've been playing it bit by bit, but I'm taking a break from it because I've got other games I'm working on. Basically, it's about being stranded on an island and having to get Ireland back together through um, fixing the lighthouse. So, I got it. It's kind of a fun game. And it's got the farming, it's got the marrying, all the usual Harvest Moon stuff. So, yeah, I like that game. Now, the game I got for 15 quid, and you're probably going to think, what the heck am I doing? Marvel Avengers! I've wanted to play this for a while to give my take, to give my, see what I think of it. And I have got a PlayStation Plus, so I can play it. The thing is, though, I haven't actually started this. I haven't even put it on my PS4 yet because, well, there's a reason further down the line. But to be honest, I don't really have the patience right now to sit for a flipping about three hours of waiting for the patch update. So... I'm going to wait for that until I'm done. There's some other stuff. Another game for 15 quid. Fresh Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I have actually been enjoying this game. It's actually not bad. And i got to say, I have finished the original game. I haven't platinumed it, but I finished it. I beat Neo Cortex. I'm playing through the second one bit by bit, so see how that goes. I'll try and platinum these in the end. See how it goes. I had to buy this. I had no alternative but to buy this. Cost me 45, but I had to buy it. The Nocturne Shin Megami Tensei Remaster. You know, I got this. I got the PS2 version recorded on my YouTube channel. I love this game, and you probably noticed I've been recording the Fiend Battles. So, yeah. I have actually reached Hellbiker, and at some point I gotta record the battle against him. And this is one of those games I've always wanted to get on PS4, and I've always wanted to try and platinum it. That's gonna be a challenge, but I want to do it. I love that game. Now, I'll go for that one last. Next, another game which I'm playing bit by bit because it can get very dull on long strips, and it is On The Road Truck Simulator. I do like truck driving games, as crazy as that sounds. I like simulators. And I've been playing this for a while now, and I have been enjoying it. It's just been, uh, I only do a few trips or one very long trip because it can get very boring. The heck, I Platinum Truck Driver. I'm going to Platinum this one as well eventually. Now then, remember when I said Marvel Avengers, why did I buy it? And I said, well, I haven't installed it because I got another game of Deep Cut something later on. Well, it would be this, Anthem. Yes, I got this for four quid, by the way. Four quid for this. The gameplay is awesome. I'm not sure what else to say because, let's be honest, this game was not really well done in its development. And I'm currently on the Tombs of the Legionnaires mission. Air 
everyone knows what that's like. A pain in the neck. I managed to open one tomb, and I got three more to go. This is going to be a long time before I can finish this. Flipping game, but I want to do it. If When I get through this and finish it, then I'll go on to Marvel Avengers. Anyway, yeah, that is about all I got to say for these videos, for these games. It didn't actually take as long as I thought. So yeah, let me go over just briefly what's going to happen the next month. We've come out of the heat wave, so I can go back to doing some videos. So I'm going to get back on with that and see how much I can do. I am working on a few Platinums. I'm go it's going to take a while before I get them, but I'm working on it. One of my targets I've got set is I want to try and finish Digital Devil Saga Let's Play so that I've got all of the games I started in 2018 finished. Which would be really good. And plus when I finish that I can move on to the game sequel which I do have and I have finished that as well. So aside from that I think that's about it. I'm going to get on with some stuff throughout August depending on the weather obviously. And depending on how work goes. See how tiring work gets me because at the moment currently my I'm having to work with my manager and I might have to do some extra hours at work to help her out because my assistant manager is taking her holiday for two weeks. So I might be quite tired at home due to a lot of extra hours I'm putting in. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say and I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next video.